Okay, Nick. Uh, the next uh, interesting topic is uh, about shared buffers. Uh, can you throw some insights? Yeah. Aurora defaults to 75% of RAM. That's interesting. Yeah. So, uh, honestly, uh, I don't spend too, my, too much of my brain power over the last few years about this topic. I was in, really interested a few years ago. Uh, and we tried to run a lot of experiments to prove that 25% is not, is not optimal. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but... Um, but uh, it's not it's not optimal. I I agree. Twenty five percent is not optimal, and a lot of uh, buffers are going to be present in both uh, uh, Postgres buffer pool and uh, uh, operational system uh, page cache, right? So and it means like uh, like double caching. Uh, but uh, it's safe number because, in my opinion, this like the main problem is the unpredictability of. Uh, memory management uh, by be backends because uh, work mem is is uh, for operation like uh, sorting joins and we don't know how many we, we will need we cannot limit uh, memory consumed by a single backend there is no no way to do it in postgres just no <laughs> so we, you cannot say uh, okay for backend i want maximum 100 megabytes you cannot do it when you say work mem 100 megabytes, probably some backend will decide to use only 10 megabytes of it, and another backend will decide to use 500 megabytes because uh, heavy uh, sort and join operations are happening. Right? This gives you very high level of uncertainty, uh, and this gives you like higher risks to use. Uh, values of the buffer pool exceeding half of memory. So, for example, 75, good, 80. You think, okay, uh, but what what's left for backends? Only 25, 20, right? And uh, it, this means we will need to be less, uh, we will need to use a, a lower work mem, right? If we use lower work mem, we have a lot of temporary files, maybe. Yeah. That's why we decide, okay, 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 let's go back to smaller value for the buffer pool, leave with double caching, but be able to increase work mem. So we, in less cases, in fewer cases, we will have temporary file generated to disk, uh, slowing down our query. So this is topic I think can be improved in general in Postgres in the future. And uh, yeah, so, Again, key problems here, unpredictability of uh, memory consumptions, consumption from backends, and also the fact that Postgres always works through, uh, for, for, through, through page cache. So it cannot read directly from disk. Yeah, I, I agree with and Andres uh, that it's bad advice, uh, but what, what there, there is no good advice here. There's no good <laughs> advice. Yeah. 25% is not good because it dictates me to like remember max connections. Yeah. We we have reasons to like for example in especially in bigger companies if you are responsible for databases but there are application teams like mi microservices for example e-commerce. E e e they say we need a lot of application nodes. You you tell them okay, then decrease the pool size. They say, oh, 40 is, is already too small. Okay, at least 20. Okay, 20. Next time they add more nodes. So we do need max connections to be higher, especially if we don't have pg bounds. But then, then uh, we have unpredictability with work mail. So it's really, it becomes really dangerous to increase shared buffers. And you think, okay, I'm okay with... 25%, I know it's not optimal in terms of performance for my workload, but if workload changes, for example, backend start consuming more uh, more uh, memory, and also I, I can raise work mem, so I'm okay with some uh, suboptimal sub state. So, for example, in, in many tests, I, sh I saw something like 25% 
give gives some performance 80 percent gives be better performance but difference is only like 20 percent in terms of tps and latency not huge it's not like 3x 5x it's just 20 percent. and i say okay i'm okay with this 20 percent, but i'm on safe side i can increase work map i can increase max max connections and that's it and also there is big 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 reason to stop thinking about it uh 20 20 percent uh, like penalty, I would say, or thirty percent penalty, is nothing compared to mistakes we do when we forget some index, for example, or write a very bad query, <laughs> which can be hundred times worse if we forget, for, for for example, some index. Right? It's better to spend time there. At the same time, if we have if you have hundreds of nodes running, it might sense to think about uh, fine tuning shared buffers. I would say 25% is very rough tuning. Okay. It's not the best advice, but best advice probably you won't like due to other reasons, <laughs> like which I just described. So in my opinion, today we still find to live with 25%, knowing that it's not the best and focus on query optimization, analysis and query optimization, for example, getting rid of temporary files generated, uh, raising work map, sometimes over, over provisioned, for example, you take max connections, take work map, multiply them, and even without additional multipliers, knowing that each backend can can use multiple times uh, work map, you already see it's like exceeding uh, your memory. But you know your workload, you you know it's it's not achieved, so you kind of kind of fine to live with that. So approach like twenty five percent is more probably fine. You can try to tune it. It can be risky to go b above fifty percent, but try to tune it, and then focus on query optimization. It it might give my, many more benefits uh, to find all the indexes, to fight bloat, and so on, and so on, and so on. Yeah, because uh, all the config tools, like Cybertech Configurator or PG Tune, they go with 25%. Even the EDB article. Because people are scary, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, like you said, people yeah. Are scared. It, people are scared. It depends on workload a lot, yeah. Right. So, so it's safe. It's safe at least. But I hope uh, we will find, like, we will see Postgres will have something like, I don't know, like some uh, ability to control the memory c consumption by backends better, or maybe to work directly with disk without page cache, some like direct IO. I don't know. Like this topic, I didn't follow or I I know. There is a IOU ring uh, work done by Andres. I, I didn't follow detailed uh, details uh, about it, but at some point maybe we will as uh, do something as Aurora does, right? So go above fifty percent. I actually had some clusters running on even eighty percent, but it, it required some again. It required some significant efforts from engineers to 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 check what what is happening with individual backends and ensure that they are not super hungry for memory. So yeah, the Aurora defaults to 75% because they are not using OS cache like, uh, in Aurora case. Right, right, right. Probably yeah. Yeah. That's why actually there is no like this if we don't use page cache, we definitely should not be at 25%. It's it's probably not right.